Technology is constantly evolving and tech leaders need every advantage to stay on top of the data-driven industry. It can be hard to keep up with all the latest innovations, especially when it comes to something as essential as solid-state drives. One of the major debates in the drive technology industry is the comparison of triple-level cell TLC, versus quad-level cell QLC, drives. In pursuit of better performance, lower space requirements and increased cost-effectiveness, many people have misconceptions about QLCs that may be preventing tech leaders from achieving operational and financial goals. Backslash and backslash and in order to help bring some clarity to this debate, today we'll be busting the myths that persist about QLCs. The first myth is that under normal operation, a QLC drive will wear out so fast that the cost benefits are wiped out by frequent replacement costs. However, this isn't true. Generation over generation advancements and proper firmware has eased this concern by giving fifth generation QLC drives up to fivefold higher endurance than earlier generations. This has led to up to 20% total cost of ownership savings compared to an all TLC SSD implementation. Source Forward Insights Data Center, May 2019. This is because storage architects tend to oversize SSDs, leading to an average of 85% of all SSDs shipped to data centers having an endurance of less than or equal to one drive write per day DWPD. And it's important to note that studies with massive sample sizes have shown that 99% of systems will use at most 15% of a drive's usable endurance by the end of life. Backslash and backslash and the other widespread myth about QLCs is that their performance can't come close to that of TLC drives. But this simply isn't true. QLC media was initially paired with older SATA interfaces that restricted speed, but newer PC based QLC drives are now within a few hundred MB S of TLC on many important benchmarks and in real world workloads. For example, Solidime QLC SSDs outperform entry TLC based P5316 SSDs when it comes to sequential reads, with the D5 P5316 offering 7000 MB per second sequences reads compared to the Kyoxia CD6 are at 5500 MB per second, which is a 27% increase source. Data pulled from P5316 and Kyoxia CD6 are backslash and backslash and so, to wrap things up, QLC technology has matured enough to deliver the reliability and performance needed to meet business objectives and provide significant cost savings compared to TLCs. With advances in QLC being delivered by Solidime, tech leaders may benefit from making the switch. Be sure to visit their website for more information and to keep up with the latest reviews.